morning. It is crisp and early here in Sofia, and I have just arrived at the Central train station, where I'm gonna book my train to the city of Plovdiv. So, let's go. Okay, so I got my ticket. Here it is. And now, let's see if I can find a coffee. Okay, so I was able to get down a little coffee, and now it's time to go to my train. So let's see if we can find track eight. Let's see here. Ah, right here, perfect. Track eight, here we are. Not too bad, not too bad. Better than I was expecting to be sure. And off we go. So we actually got kicked out of that car because that one's first class. And this one is uh, not. It uh, doesn't really look any different to be honest. So, whatever. And if you're wondering, this uh, ticket cost me like nine lev, so about five dollars. So, not too bad, not too bad. arrived in Plovdiv, so let's go see what this city's like. Okay, okay so according to Google, my hotel is a 14 minute walk from the train station, so I don't think I need a taxi. I think I can just leg it. <laughs> Thus far, Plovdiv is not the most aesthetically pleasing place, but uh, let's see. I think it's going to be interesting. Okay, found it. Let's see here. Third floor. 301. Right there. Okay. Let's see then. Let's see how it looks. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I can live with this. What do we have a view of? Coffee blocks. That's okay though. For thirty dollars a night, which is what this cost, I'm not complaining. So, yeah, let's go out and see the city. Okay, so getting closer to the center, according to Google, and it looks like it too. I'm still on the look for food. Oh, 
So this is looking a lot like a main touristy street, but I'm loving the architecture. So yeah, but I kind of doubt I'm gonna find any kind of local restaurants here. It's gonna be mostly chains and Western food. I love how colorful older architecture is, more classical architecture. Seems like most modern architecture is just so drab. So this is an ancient Roman stadium. Or at least the corner of it. And over there is the scale model of what it would have looked like in its heyday. So I'm not sure if this is a scale model of what we see there. I'm guessing so. And right next to the old uh, stadium, we have a mosque. It looks very Ottoman style, which makes sense, seeing as the Ottomans were here for a very long time. Which I suppose is a good opportunity to talk about how old Plovdiv is. It's quite old. In fact, at one time it was called Philippopolis because it was founded by Philip of Macedon, who is Alexander the Great's uh, father. So it's that old, um, which is why you see Roman stadiums and Ottoman mosques and many other uh, historical treasures here. for coffee so I'm gonna have a coffee and then uh, we'll sort the food situation out okay while I was having my coffee I did some research on Google found a uh, restaurant and I'm headed there now so let's see okay so I found a restaurant I uh, hope you guys can hear me the audio situation in here is pretty loud but uh, yeah it's definitely not a local restaurant but uh, it had good reviews and it's full of people so yeah hunger got the better of me and I kind of just didn't want to look anymore so let's see how the food is okay so my food has come these are meatballs and um, kind of common in the Balkans and uh, in Turkey so they smell really good let's uh, let's see how they are okay let's see let's dip it in the sauce here a little bit really good a lot of flavor and uh, very tender so I'm gonna finish this up and then we'll get back to exploring. So that's the restaurant. It's called Pavage. Uh, pretty good. And yeah. So I'm not even sure if I was audible in there because there were two families around me with kids, which made uh, made a lot of noise. But uh, in anyway, I'm on my way here to continue exploring. So there's a reason I didn't take a dessert in the restaurant. It's because I saw this when I was walking over there. And uh, I think I'm gonna have some piroshki. So let's see. Okay, this is called the Mikitsa. Um, it's basically like a sweet pie if I completely understood what she said, but uh, she didn't speak any English. And uh, between my uh, broken Russian and zero Bulgarian, um, yeah, it's got some powdered sugar on there, so let's see. I don't think there's any way I'm going to eat it without getting um, pretty messy, so let's just dive in. Just almost dropped it, so let's see here. Pretty similar to a donut. Um, with powdered sugar, so pretty good though. For uh, one lev, fifty cents. Yeah, any day over whatever they were gonna give me in that uh, restaurant as a dessert. So highly approve. 
So that food at the restaurant was uh, called meatballs, and uh, it was pretty good actually. Pretty, um, pretty good quality. They came out to be like 20 lev, which is 10-ish dollars. So not too bad considering it's right in the center of the uh, tourism area. So yeah, not too bad. Have some uh, paintings here, murals. Beautiful, beautiful uh, architecture behind it too. Check out that building. It's pretty cool. Not sure what it is. Oh, City Art Gallery. Well, that would be why. Oh. Yeah. Can't be too mad about that. Tourist uh, shirts. I think this is the direction I want to go. Oh, it's definitely the uh, more traditional part of the city. I'm not sure if this is uh, people are living here or I guess not. Oh. I'm not sure, I guess so. I can't imagine what one of these would cost to buy. Probably quite expensive. I suppose this is a church. Speaking of churches, there's some church bells. Pretty cool style. Looks like it's uh, still either being constructed or renovated. I guess renovated, probably it looks pretty old. But, um, yeah. Okay, here's what I've been looking for. Uh, Plovdiv has a old Roman theater, and it looks like it's closed now, which is unfortunate. But uh, there's a little cafe here, which I may partake in. Here it is. Have a look. Look at that. Awesome. Like I said, Plovdiv is old. People have been living here for literally uh, thousands of years. So, damn it. Yeah. Well, they're inside. Let's see. Let's see if I can get some tickets. Hello, is it still open? Yes, but you have 10 minutes, after 10 minutes we uh, close. Okay. okay, tomorrow open? About 9 o'clock will be open, okay? Tomorrow? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> well, damn. That kind of sucks, but I can come back tomorrow. I will definitely be back tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring you guys with me. Uh, this is a dead end, I think. Uh, but there's more of the theater here. You can see. I guess this would have been the entrance back in the day. Not too bad. Especially with the view behind. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's see what else we can see before the, uh, I was going to say before the sun goes down, but we might already be there. Ooh, check out that house. That's pretty cool. That one right there. Bet they have a nice view. Anyway. Let's see what else we can see before it gets dark.
with that, I'm gonna call it a night. This is gonna end up being a two-parter. So my camera battery's low, my phone battery's low, and although I thought I had charged my uh, power bank, I had not. So I'm gonna head back to the hotel, charge up all the batteries, and I will see you tomorrow.